don't know why sometimes God heal, sometimes God doesn't heal. So, yeah. so um, yeah, I don't know if you have any、um, thoughts about that. 挑战您的价值观，返璞归真，过生活。欢迎收看《十万个为什么》，我是你的好朋友路德。在节目一开始，提醒大家订阅我的频道，并打开小铃铛，千万不要错过每周五的精彩节目哦。I love experience to experience God,、uh-huh. and I believe in healing.、Uh-huh. You know, one thing about healing is open your spirit,、uh-huh. and be And be expecting that you be healed. Sometimes we pray for the people. Some don't receive healing.、Mm. Some of the healing takes time. It's a process.、Mm. Some are instant healing.、Yeah. Some healings, you pray for the person who not receive healing now. I remember here, I just met a lady on、uh, on the car park, and I say, you, you feel pain in your ear, severe pain, and she said yes. How did you know? I said, Holy Spirit told me.、Mm. When I pray for her. God heal her, and she has a stomach. The Lord told me she has a stomach problem too, and I told her, but she she did not receive the healing from the stomach problem. Why? She, she could not build her faith on the previous healing. That's why when the Lord want to do something for us, He made He know that we human being we have short memory. We always forget about what He has done for us、mm. most of the time. Most of us forget what the Lord has done when we are under pressure. So He said, He told the Israel people, anytime you want to do a new thing, say, remember,、mm. I was the one with your fathers,、mm. I was the one with your ancestors,、mm. so I will still do it again.、Mm. That was what He said in His word in Psalm eighty-one,、mm. verse ten. He said that, and He said something that that、um, open. He said, remember, I was the one that delivered your ancestors、mm. from Egypt. Open your mouth. And he will feel it, speak, and he will answer.、Mm. Prophesy on that that situation, and you will answer. If the Lord can tell Ezekiel to command the dry bone、mm. to come back to life,、mm-hmm. the dry bone is Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. He says he command the dry bone to come back to life. So that means there is any hopeless situation when we believe in God,、mm. the person will be healed. I can give you this phone. Somebody can be sick, and I can just hold it and pray on it, and give it to the person,、mm. and the person will receive healing because the person believe.、Yeah. I don't know what I've answered. Yeah, I I have experienced just call people and people got healing. You、yes. know,、yeah. not even touch, not even、yes. see them. It's just to do the voice. Very good. Yeah. Um. So so, according to what you said, um, does that mean that not only your face but the face of the patient? Patient, the、yes. the the face of the, the person patient, who、yes. receive healing, yes, it's important too. Very important. I met people before you get close to them. For example, I think like four years ago,、uh, there was a friend of mine. Uh, his ex girlfriend was having, I think, what was the name? There was some、uh, sickle cell. I didn't know that it was a sickle cell. There was sore on both legs. Which they've taken to many hospitals.、Mm. She was not having, getting her healing, and she went to many churches. No healing.、Mm. They give her to drink on into oil, drinking all kind of things. No healing.、Mm. So when I went, the Lord told me she doesn't have faith. So spend time with her. I spent time with her for three good hours.、Mm. When I was with her, her mom had her healing. Just preaching, the mom has a healing,、mm. and after I spend the word of God with her,、mm. and I pray, the Lord told me she has a sickle cell, and I said, "There's something in your blood, which is the problem, but not the sore on your both your legs is the problem." And she said, "Yes,、yeah, she has sickle cell," and the Lord said, "I should pray for her," and I pray, she got healed, and then she can walk on both legs.、Mm. Yes, um, the first thing that. People have gone to many places. I have met a friend of mine whose mom was mad for over five years, and、um, they went to many places. She was not receiving healing. And、um, you said she's crazy, like yes, crazy, mental, mental, mental illness. Yes,、okay. but when the guy told me,、uh, we went to the house and pray. 
And the Lord just told me to lay her in the middle. Because she's a godly woman. She loves God. She's, and the children still love God. And after the prayer, she received her healing. Healing, of course, physical healing is very important. But yeah. I think for God, which yeah. is more important is mm -hmm. we trust Him. You yeah. know, we, we really glorify Him. Yeah. You know, otherwise, maybe He... Uh, he can he can heal us instantly, you know. Yeah. For him, it's not a problem. But sometimes, if we don't have faith, yeah. he will maybe delay that process, yeah. you know, because he wants to train us to have more faith on him. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why uh, sometimes the person didn't get healing yeah. immediately. Yeah. Right. And he said in Mark chapter nine verse twenty three, mm -hmm. he said, he said all things are possible when we believe. Mm. Sometimes. There are certain emergency situations. The person you are praying for cannot talk, but there's the presence of God to move, mm -hmm. and then the person will be healed. Mm -hmm. And there are other people too, as you said, emotional healing, and they have a lot of trouble. They, are, they have given up. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to revive them is the word. I would rather encourage everyone to spend more time in the word. Yeah. I have seen people that will come. Bruce, can I can I give you money to mm -hmm. buy you things so that you fast for me? How can I fast for fast for you? Mm -hmm. You have to fast for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? I've seen it. Rich people will, will give you maybe they have uh, to buy some uh, what do you call it milk, There's other tea for you and other things and add money to eat and say that. Bruce, can you fast for me? And they add money. I cannot do that for you. You gotta do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and uh, we fast for God, not yeah, for people. Not for people. That's what you should know. Yeah. You understand? So, but because other men or so-called men of God and women of God deceive them that they can fast for them, you can do it. Fasting, you must be led and do it. Yeah. I have been fasting for many, many years. I know the reason I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. It is the Lord that the Lord has somebody to may not fast, mm -hmm. but the Lord is still working on the person, mm -hmm. doing miracles. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the main thing is spend time mm -hmm. in the word. Yeah. You must read the word. Yeah. Spend time, love the word. Try to let the word get roots in your spirit. You will know when the love, the word of God enter you, you'll have it. Mm -hmm. So I would rather encourage everyone mm -hmm. to love the word. When you have the problem, the first thing is go back to God and the word of God. And it is enough for you to, then you call other friends to strengthen your faith. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so could you teach us also how, uh, how to read the word? You know, when you read the when you read Bible, how do you do? Yeah. Oh, this is how I do. Mm -hmm. I will pray. Some, this is what I do. I pray a lot. Lord, which chapter I want to can, do you want me to read? Mm. So you don't have like a Bible reading plan? I have it. I have my own reading plan. Mm. Like I, I want to, re I, I, I enjoy Matthew, Mark, Luke and John so much because I want to know more about Jesus mm -hmm. and the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. I want to know why they learned from Jesus and they were also able to do wonders. Mm -hmm. I want to know more on those things. So yeah. I spend more time. Yeah. But one of the things I do most is if I don't feel like reading the Bible, I just go to the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs, mm -hmm. just to start reading it. Mm -hmm. You know, those places encourages you mm -hmm. to you start having feeling the love to read the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then one of the other books too that I enjoy most is Ephesians, mm -hmm. Philippians. Mm -hmm. Just get first the Lord will put some books the the books in the Bible in your heart. Mm -hmm. First, develop the love for those ones, mm -hmm. and then through that you start developing love for the word. If you are not getting if you are not having interest, open your heart and be sincere to God. Lord, I want to read your word, mm. but I don't know how to do. I don't know where to start. Mm. Teach me your word. I'm telling you, your spirit will be open. When your spirit is open, you are going to, to be reading the word, and the word will be new to you. Something you have read many times, but it's going to be new again to you. And you start feeling the love for the word. And you start feeling you want to do this, you want to do this, you want to pray for someone. Or something that you will start practicing it, not only for healing, but you, it will. I saw something on YouTube many years ago. Uh, a lady who was a prostitute was mm. addicted to pornographic material. Mm. She said nobody told her to read the word of the Bible. Like I told you, nobody told me to fast. Mm. I was fasting that God should kill me. 
<laughs> and the more I fast for God to kill me, the more He gave me the love to pray and the love to read His word. And then more I want to fast and get close to Him. Mm. And she also said that she started reading the word of God. The more she read the word of God, the more she hates masturbation, she mm. hates fornication, mm. she hates pornographic material. Mm. And the more she wants to have God in Him, uh, in her. So through that, she got her deliverance. Mm. So many deliverance that we need. There are secret sins that we commit when we spend time in the Word of God. Mm. All those things will be over. Yes. But we must open up your spirit and be sincere to God. Mm. That God, I can do it on my own. Please teach me. I want to read your Word. I want to love your Word. I want to put you your Word first. Mm. I want to know you through your Word. Mm. You understand? And another problem is there is a theological teaching in the church and the holy spirit filled teaching mm. and the theological teaching I, I i made that statement that's how i call it theological state teaching does not you don't even feel like reading the word mm. you just go to church the mm. clothes you come back you pack your bible down yeah. but the holy spirit when the pastor is filled with the holy spirit and read the scriptures so much and mm. and preach about the scripture mm. you have when you come home you want to read more that was why when I went to the program, mm. I got the word on uh, Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. Mm. I went deeper and I could see that without the, the word, because he said that his word shall never return to him void. He shall produce whatever he sent it. You understand? Yeah. So this is how I started to follow up myself. And yeah. ask someone to help you. Get into groups, mm. Christian groups. Mm. And uh, if it's, you have problem with Facebook, shh, close it down and go and get into groups and spend more time in it. Or you can also start with audio Bible. Mm. Audio Bible also help a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think right now uh, many young people they face a lot of distractions. Yes, you know that's the problem. Yeah. When we read Bible, there are so many because the enemy doesn't want us to read Bible. Yes, you know? it's true. That's why whenever we want to read Bible, there are so many things happen, yes. so many things in our mind, yes. and we need to really um, make a decision. You know, we want to uh, go deeper, deeper into the Word of God, word and of God. we have to really sacrifice yeah. sacrifice our entertainment yeah. or yeah. social life, oh, yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. Because as Job said, God's word is more important to him than mm. the food that he eats. Yes. Mm. And David also made a statement. He said, his word tastes like honey. That means he, he read the word of God many times. He has read it many times. And he has, he has that kind of love mm. because he was addicted to it mm. because he has seen the importance of it. That he, it tastes like honey in his mm. mouth. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you must first have interest mm -hmm. in the in the word mm -hmm. or the have interest that I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Don't rush and say I'm gonna read a full mm -hmm. chapter. Mm -hmm. You can read one or three verses. Mm -hmm. Ask question. Let's mm -hmm. say, can I give an example? Yeah. Let's say um uh, Jesus made a statement in here in uh, Mark chapter eleven, verse twenty. Is it is it uh, verse twenty one? Sorry, verse 22. He said, Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. That's Mark chapter 11, verse 22. So you ask the question, Why should, why did Jesus make that statement? Mm. Have faith in God. When you read the Bible, ask questions. Mm. The, well, the more you ask questions, the more the Lord gave you answers. Mm. More answers, you get more revelations. Mm. Yeah. So we dialogue, right? Dialogue, dialogue. with God. Yeah, with we God. Record. Yes. Yeah. Ask him. And he's going to have more love for the word. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Wow. Yes. That's probably the key right, for you yes. to have so much faith. Faith. And that faith will help you see God's power. Yes. Through you. When you pray. Yes. Yeah. That's good. So good. Okay. Yeah.